Venom review review. Forget the critics who are mostly on the Disney payroll. I, I love this, that anytime there's something that you don't like, it must mean that it's an attack by whatever the opposite is. It's gotta be that they're on Disney's payroll. It can't just be that Sony didn't make a great movie. Like always, the critics behave like crybabies. Don't listen to them. Everyone had a great time at the movie theater. <laughs> the critics must be wrong because my one experience is different. <laughs> it's good, but cusses too much. Says God at at five times. Honestly, I felt uncomfortable even saying that curse word. This is a good movie and fun one also. At first, I heard a couple of bad reviews and didn't watch the movie for two years. In 2021, I decided to give it a shot and came pretty good one. Sick with diamonds. I think it's demonic and sick. I could genuinely see how some people could get that out of this movie, but it's it's just a movie. It ain't that deep. I honestly do not understand why many people did not like this movie and why rating on Metacritic only 35. Damn, that is low. To me, the movie was poisoned, first of all, thanks to excellent acting of Tom Hardy. Yes, a plot very weak, but it's such an any Marvel movie. Movie Marvel. I'm not a fan of movies of Marvel. They, in some sense, even kill modern cinema. But this film is Deist... Deistvitelno... Deistvitelno... Well shot. Also, if one more person says that Marvel movies are killing modern cinema, I'm going to lose my mind. I'd say about a PG-13. The movie itself is what you would expect. It is dark, slightly gory, and has some swearing. Then again, what movie this century doesn't have swears or adult references? Such as the Emoji Movie, which talks about the middle finger. When I think of movies uh, being irreverent, the, the Emoji Movie is the first thing that I think of, actually. Fabulous. If you watch it, entertainment-wise, it is perfect. What other way would I watch it? I am here for entertainment. It's not crap. It's just awesome, epic, all of all. Venom is a good charioter for a movie, and this doesn't disappointing me. OMFG, this movie is so epic. I wish Venom could live in me so he could solve my erectile dysfunction issues. Every day, I wake up wishing I could have morning wood, but I'm so just my grandma. I can't read this. Venom is the only person who can give me heart anymore. Oh my god. God. <laughs> this movie is as good as the song by Eminem, which is epic, and my mom says I'm not allowed to listen to it. But that doesn't stop me. The movie is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad characters and bad script. Oh, and bad CGI. Overall, Pretty bad. Best part was hearing Pusha T sing "You" in the song at the start. I really enjoy this because he compares it to a song by Eminem, which he listens to even though his mom doesn't want him to, which would imply that he thinks it's a good song. But then he says that Venom is terrible. The logic, I just, oh, my brain can't. Good. This movie had lots of gore, but gore is good for your kids because it toughens them up. Just kidding. This movie is mediocre. It's not well written, it's not technically well made, and it is stupid. However, I actually enjoyed it a little. While I don't think this movie fits into this category, I do sort of miss the trend back in the 80s and 90s of making terrible movies just for fun, because they were always good. Quite frankly, The Prince's Bride is kind of not a great movie, but we all love it. I fell like wonderful. Um, I was glad while watching Venom. I suggest you, super chill movie. The Adam X Vinny chemistry was dope. No homo. Def would rewatch. That was probably the worst move I've seen in my whole life. I can't really say I have seen it because I stopped watching after the chase scene. It was enough. I've seen enough. It's really horrible. Please stop reviewing movies that you didn't even watch the whole film. You can't give a film a fair rating if you didn't watch the whole thing. Don't listen to the Metacritics. This movie is awesome. 10 out of 10. R.I.P. Stanley. This review contains spoilers. I sure hope so. From the villain they made an anti-hero, it is clear that the film of circumcision, but the film is good. What? I love this film. It is the best Marvel movie ever, but not the best film for your film, as it has swearing throughout and so strong passionate sex. Thanks for reading. No, it did not. What are you talking about? I am Venom and you are mine. 
This is not a superhero movie or an anti-hero film. This is a love story. It's funny how Tom Hardy has more chemistry with himself than he dosed with Michelle Williams. Honestly, I didn't think about it, but, but yeah, that's really true. Was it dumb? Of course. Did I care? No. It's me. This movie was a huge abomination to Spider-Man movies, which I like the first two Spider-Man movies. I like the first two Spider-Man movies too. This is a totally separate thing. It's not a Spider-Man movie. I always try to remain impartial in these videos, but I, like, I'm like i ending up just defending Venom as a movie. One star, offensive. Venom will offend all sincere Muslims, Jews, and Christians. Don't support this nonsense. Please tell me how this offends those people groups specifically. I don't understand. It worser than Spider-Man 3. Not true. Nothing could be worse than Spider-Man 3. Put it that way, and the way that they did Eddie Brock and Venom is just very disappointing. And it's a Spider-Man film without Spider-Man. Again, I can't believe I have to say this twice. This is not a Spider-Man movie. I give the reviews for Venom about a 3 out of 10. There were a few good jokes and misspellings in there, but you guys are real whiny, apparently you're upset that Spider-Man wasn't in it, and you think that Disney paid people to review bomb this, so I, I can't hang. <laughs>